morning and welcome to I've stopped doing that I don't know why I just want to do that I have no idea what number vlog we're on 36 I think this morning we're off to have breakfast with Mickey Mouse and co <laughs> all the other Disney characters that was the only thing I had to do I was like I really want to have a breakfast with um, the characters which is obviously aimed at the children um, but I don't think you're ever too old to have breakfast with Mickey Mouse are you no but yeah we're getting in our car now and we're gonna go and drive to eat food with Mickey. This hotel, honestly, wow, look at that. Hmm, when you feel like a peasant. We are getting food. There's a lot of choice, but it's all kind of like continental stuff, whereas I'm all about the croissant life. <laughs> Not having eggs and fish. So we are just walking down like, I don't know what this is called actually, the Boardwalk Hotel, Disney's Boardwalk. Uh, we're not staying in this hotel obviously, but we came for breakfast here because this is where the meet and greet was so we figured, do you know what, why not just come and have a wander because it's really sunny. Uh, there's like not even any clouds today, it's just like pure sunshine. Yeah. Apart from that one cloud. <laughs> um, but we're just walking around the massive lake, there's loads of lakes in Florida. Um, there's like one in each hotel, I guess that's why they're built around why them. There's so many magic cups. So many what? Magic okay. Uh, oh, Pokemon. Um, yeah, Harry's just been playing Pokemon Go pretty much the whole time since we arrived. Um, but yeah, so just walking around. Later we're going to Hollywood Studios. I feel like I haven't told you where we're going. We've got a fast pass for... Oh my god, there's a wedding. That is cute. We've got a fast pass for Frozen sing-along, so that'll be funny. Um, although it turns out my mum doesn't know any of the Frozen songs. So I don't know where she's been living since 2013. Um, but... Yeah, there's a wedding. This is so cute. Is it wrong to vlog someone else's wedding? I'm gonna do it anyways. Look, they're inside of that. How cute is that? I want to get married here. Future husband, if you're ever watching. I want to get married at Disney, please. And I'd like to get married in this hotel. And I'd like it all to be really nice, please. Thank you. Future husband, thank you. We are going to Hollywood Studios. I am so hot right now and feel so hot. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to Hollywood Studios. Okay, so we just went to see the Muppets. And Harry, stupidly, had his phone in his pocket that slipped out during the show. But because it's dark, he hadn't realised. We got about a five minute walk away from the theatre. Harry goes, oh my god, where's my phone? Yeah, about here. Harry goes, oh my gosh, where's my phone? We go back into the theatre. Everybody like has to wait till everybody's got out like to see the show. Start rummaging around all the chairs, like going under the aisles, like asking people, oh my god, have you seen a cell phone? Have you seen a cell phone? Like, obviously, cell phone. Um, getting getting a couple of stairs now. Um, <laughs> um, and yeah, so we like start screaming, we can't find it. Uh, so we're like, okay, that's it. Harry's lost his phone. That's it. And then we get somebody to announce it over the like tannoy thing. Uh, I don't know what you call it in America, it's not called a tunnel. But um, yeah, so we're like, oh my god, have you seen a cell phone? And then so this is one guy, it's been like, I don't know, 20 minutes since Harry had his phone, so we thought, no, there's no chance, somebody's gonna have taken it. This way. Um, and then somebody stands up and goes, I found it, and we were like, are you kidding me? Like, how lucky is that? If that was me, I would never have got that back. I never get my things back when I lose them. Harry, Harry might as well just, one time he left his phone in a bush for like, a long time like hours and hours on end and it was just that still there just chilling if i lose my things that's it somebody takes them anyway now we're going to see frozen sing along which is going to be funny i can't believe he's got that back like no i cut the other one out my dad also lost his ray bands the other day that's a whole different story yeah he got them back as well you got this honor you were born ready to tell our story, please help me welcome the newly appointed Royal Historian Tom Arendelle! <laughs> <laughs>
So my whole family have gone on a rock and roller coaster and left me. So I walked and found a Starbucks. I'm vlogging because I'm sat on my own around loads of people. But yay! Just gonna sit here and wait. Getting so judged on. So these three are about to go on Tower of Terror, uh, which is basically like a massive jumping jack if you know one of them things where they like jump the floors and then drop. I'm really not a fan of any of the rides in this park just because I don't like big roller coasters, I don't like high thrill rides, I just don't really like rides. Like obviously Disney's not all about the rides at all and I'm more than happy just wandering around but there's been a lot of sitting on my own. There's going to be some more. Um, but yeah, basically, usually my mum doesn't do these things, but today she's like, I'm going to try them. So, you know, just on my own, but that's chill. Um, it's very nice weather. It's very warm. We just went and watched a sneak peek of the film Pete's Dragon or something. Anyway, I'm just going to sit and probably buy another Starbucks in a minute. I just stopped vlogging and my mum went, you haven't told your viewers I did Rock and Roller Coaster. She did Rock and Roller Coaster. She's very proud of herself. She's very proud of herself. So we're on to our second Starbucks of the day. This one is... Um, inspired by Gabby, Velvet Ghost, because she keeps tweeting about getting a blackcurrant something. I'm not really sure if it is the same thing, but it looks the same and it tastes blackcurranty, so I'm going to go with yes. Um, but I'm just sitting on my own. I've got a view of the ride they're on up there. Basically, yeah, I'm just sitting having a cookie, going on Twitter, just just waiting, you know, just chilling. I feel like I haven't vlogged much arty footage. Maybe I'll go around and do that. It's just a bit too hot to get my proper camera out. Be all arty. Maybe I'll try. So maybe I'll tan. Um, I've been in this park for like a good six hours, but there's not loads that I can do here just because I don't really like rides. Obviously, that doesn't mean that they haven't enjoyed themselves. It's just because I don't really like going on big things. Um, but I've had a nice time just, you know, chilling. It meant that I could catch up on all the social media I've missed over the last few days, to be honest. But now we're leaving. Um, I'm gonna go and chill by the pool and maybe get some GoPro footage of some underwater funkiness. So we are going to the pool now. I haven't edited this vlog yet. I said I was gonna do it, but then I didn't. Um, oh my god, have we got the door? Nope. Um, but yeah, we're going swimming. Well, I'm probably not going to swim because I really don't like swimming very much at all. Um, I'm just going to chill and read and maybe catch some rays, even though I haven't reapplied my sun cream. No, it's good. We've got it. All good guys, don't need to worry. Um, yeah, so we're going down to the pool. There's like three pools here, I think. We're going to the little one. I tried to film my own. Turns out I'm not that far but underwater filming. It's basically just me struggling to survive. I'm not a very good swimmer at all. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've just seen that. But now I think we're going to go out onto International Drive. I've never been out of Disney whilst in Florida before. So apart from to like Sea World and that. Um, which we're not going to this year before. Loads of you start in the comments, obviously. Um, but yeah, so I think we're going to go to the Olive Garden on International Drive, recommended by my friend Fiona, who was in my vlog on Saturday for you, as she came two weeks ago now. Um, so, and she said that was really good, so I thought, you know what, we'll try the Olive Garden. So I have decided to put on a little bit more makeup than I have been wearing, mainly because um, uh, I got my Tartlet palette and I wanted to use it. I also bought the Kat Von D Tattoo eyeliner last night in Sephora. 
um, and I really like it but I'm not sure if I picked up one that's been used because it doesn't come out fully fully black I think it might be because I've it was like stood oh my god there's a lizard it was like stood upright so I don't know if like the ink has drained to the bottom but all I can say is it's so easy to apply like I hate felt tip liners usually absolutely love this one so yeah anyway now we're going out onto international drive oh my hair is still wet from swimming but yes we're going out onto international drive I'm quite content with how my eye makeup looks haven't worn eyeshadow in about a week so that's nice anyway oh, going out now you excited so we came here after the recommendation of my friend Fiona Fiona so far I think you made a good decision I'm liking it the interior is nice I'll do some arty shots for you guys um, but yeah Guys, we've just been given our table, and the table has a telly, like an iPad. What is this? This is an iPad. Well, why has Britain not caught on to this thing? You can literally, like, you can go, how do you, you can order your food on here. You can pay on here. Food, food, look at this. Look at that, yas, 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 yas. Well, um, yeah, check, check, check for about a mile from here. We have just finished our food. It was really, really nice actually. I really liked it. Harry didn't enjoy it. We had the same meal. Harry didn't like it. I really did. So, it shows you how taste buds are weird. But now I think we're just going to pay and then we're going to go down to the Orlando Eye just to take some pictures of it and not. It's arty. Apparently it looks like the London guys. We just realised that, you know the TV when I was like, oh look at all these apps. It actually cost you to play all the games and we were just playing them all, like clicking on them. And then when we went on the bill, it was like charging the bottom for all the games. We are like... Guys, okay, we've come to the uh, Eye and, well it's not called an Eye, it's just a wheel, isn't it? It's only the London Eye that you call an Eye. Um, but there's also a crazy golf course over there, which is cool. Really nice still so warm. Like, honestly, it's like nearly 10 o'clock, and I reckon it's still about 30 degrees. Guys, what is this? It's a millipede. Seriously, so somebody tell me in the comments. One of these scientists. It's a Pokemon. Oh my god, what is Look that? Look how it's moving though. It's, it's, a weird. Weird. it's amazing. The legs are fantastic. And weird. Literally, what is this? Why am I not scared of it? Wow, go Molly. It's still a weedle. Harry, it's not a Pokemon. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. Look how frizzy my hair's gone since it's dried. So humid. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this vlog, give it a massive thumbs up. If you've enjoyed seeing a bit of underwater footage, a bit of International Drive, and also some Hollywood Studios, which seems ages ago now, give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not, and I shall see you all tomorrow with another very exciting vlog. In fact, yeah, it's going to be a good one. So I'll see you then. Bye. Not pairing. Bye. <laughs>